गाइस हाउस इट गोइंग अ दिस राइट हियर इज अ डेल एक्सपीएस 13 व्हिच इज इजीली द बेस्ट विंडोज अल्ट्राबुक लैपटॉप आउट देयर लाइक इजीली नाउ आई हैव बीन यूजिंग इट फॉर ओवर अ मंथ नाउ एंड व्हाइल आई नो इट कम्स विद अ प्रीमियम प्राइस टैग इट इज डेफिनेटली वर्थ इट हाउएवर विद सो मेनी ऑप्शंस टू चूज फ्रॉम व्हिच वन इज द राइट वेरिएंट फॉर यू एंड वेयर इज योर मनी बेटर स्पेंड वेल You're watching my in-depth review of the Dell XPS 13. This is Varun from Guiding Tech, and let's get started. Okay, so kicking things off, we have the design of the Dell XPS 13, which is easily the most admirable thing about this laptop. Thanks to its bezel-less display and stretched-out keyboard, the Xperia 13 is a 13-inch laptop that's packed inside a 11-inch frame. The 91.5% screen-to-body ratio is a testament to that very statement, and it's way too portable too, weighing in at just 1.2 kgs. As premium as it looks, it is also built that way. The screen comes with Gorilla Glass 6 protection, and the entire body is made with a single slab of aluminium. Now, my favorite part about this laptop is this. carbon fiber texture right here on the wrist pads it's definitely way more premium and this looks really good as well now while it does attract smudges and stains they can easily be wiped off with any cloth whatsoever now while we personally have the black variant available here the dell xps 13 also comes in a white variant that also looks equally premium the back remains silver in both the options so there's that and i think that's a good touch because the silver finish here is very premium i mean you can see that it strikes off with the light very very nicely looks very premium it has this very subtle yet expensive kind of a finish to it and yeah i mean it just adds on to that whole value of the laptop that it is subtle neat clean and super premium and yes it can be opened with one hand too now in terms of connectivity you get two usb c thunderbolt 3 ports one on either side coupled with a headphone jack and a micro sd card reader both those type c ports support usb power delivery and that's just way too convenient of course i'll get to that in the battery and charging section of this video but for now just know that these two ports come in very very handy dell also couples a usb type c to a usb type a dongle from inside the box which is kind of handy but i would have preferred if they bundled the dock itself rather than selling it off as a separate accessory kind of like a uh, apple move but yeah it is what it is but anyway on the whole the dell xps 13 is probably the most premium laptop out there and easily the one that i prefer the most the chassis the design the feel everything about this laptop is just okay so now let's talk about this display right here now the xps 13 comes in two variants and the company offers a 4k panel as well which is also supporting touch but um, i don't know i kind of find that pointless for what it's worth i feel the full hd panel here is pretty good i mean not just pretty good it's amazing this is a 1080p panel with 100% srgb and 90% dcip3 color calibration also this panel can get crazy bright so even outdoor usage is not an issue at all and what makes everything even sweeter is the 16 to 10 aspect ratio i swear to god this is the best aspect ratio out there for any sort of productivity work see i use my laptop primarily for editing documents or you know uh, working on photoshop and for everything like that this aspect ratio is just perfect because that extra height you get comes in super handy of course that also means that you get black bars while watching movies or something like that but for me i usually do that on my smartphone or on my tv my laptop is mainly for work but for what it's worth this is definitely meant for productivity and that aspect ratio is a true testament to that and apart from that the color calibration here makes everything look so good there's the eye safe technology that filters out blue light without bringing a yellow strain and you can easily run photoshop or lightroom on this for color grading on the go without any issues okay so next up we have the keyboard here and it's kind of a funny story see i use the galaxy tab s7 on the side with the whole keyboard case and all and when i switched to the dell xps 13 it kind of felt as if you just added a piece of cardboard underneath that keyboard accessory for the tab s7 i mean the keys here are really that mushy and there's very low key travel here so in the beginning i was like 
na man this is a very very mediocre keyboard but that was my first and initial impression of the Dell Xperia 13 after using it day by day this keyboard starting to grow on me and now i've reached a point where i feel this is literally the best keyboard out there the soft keys are meant for rapid typing and i was even able to reach 92 words per minute on this keyboard without any issues mm. the keyboard is fully stretched out so there are times when you feel cramped in especially if you have big hands like me but trust me you can adapt to this super fast and you would love it too there's also the power button here that doubles up as a fingerprint scanner and it works exceptionally well Now moving along we have the touchpad here which is as good as it gets on a windows machine i mean it's comparable to surface laptops out there and yeah that's pretty much it of course it is still a league behind what apple offers on their macbook lineup but yeah like i said on a windows laptop this is pretty much the best it's a perfect size for a machine this compact it's wide enough all your gestures work fine the glass surface on the top feels super smooth and yeah i mean there are no complaints in terms of the touchpad here the palm rejection works well and yeah it's been a great experience overall of course the gestures in itself aren't that intuitive but that's windows fault not <laughs> the touchpad as a surface itself okay now most ultra books on the market offer downward firing speakers and while the dell xps 13 technically does that too they are kind of sideways So the sound is always and always bouncing off the surface. Now the audio is tuned by Waves Max Audio Pro, and uh, while I don't really care for all these branding features, like you know, brands partner with other brands, but I will give them credit where it's due. Their software is exceptionally good. Okay, so now let's talk about the performance. So our unit here comes equipped with an Intel Core i5 1035G1 processor. coupled with 8 gb of ram clocked at 3733 megahertz this is a 5 and 2 gb nvme ssd from hynix and that's about it okay now two things that really strike me are one that ssd and the other thing is that ram so a lot of brands usually go for like claiming that we offer an nvme ssd in our laptops but they usually go with an intel 660p and that's fine except that the hynix one here is better and more reliable of course coupled with that processor you won't really get to notice the speed difference in day to day usage or even performance task but yeah it's always better to have a faster and a more reliable ssd the second thing that would affect a lot of users is that 8 gb of ram see while the high clock speed definitely like definitely comes in very handy that 8 gb of ram can be a limiting factor and i've said it before on a lot of laptop reviews out there for my personal usage especially for productivity usage 8 gb of ram is fine i mean that's primarily because i have switched to microsoft edge which does not use that much of ram so even if i'm running a little bit of photoshop on the sides with uh, spotify playing and microsoft world open i don't face a lot of issues However, if you are a Chrome user or you rely a lot on your Lightroom or Photoshop usage, you should definitely get a 16 GB variant because 8 GB of RAM will fill up just like that, and yeah, that will hamper your performance. This is a thin and lightweight laptop, but you definitely need that extra bit of RAM over there. Now, why I say that you need that extra bit of RAM is because you really cannot upgrade it later on. The RAM here is soldered on and. Well, it's something that you can get from Dell while purchasing this laptop, and that's it. Which also means that it runs in dual channel, but it also becomes a good segue to talk about the upgradeability of this laptop. See, getting inside isn't particularly hard, but I doubt you'd need to. The only thing replaceable here is the M2 SSD, and that's about it. That said, one thing I'd like to point out here is the dual fan setup. Not that this laptop carries a lot of horsepower, but the slim form factor means it can get hot, technically. focus on the word technically because in reality the laptop does not get that hot i mean i was averaging around 55 degrees and that too after a lot of usage like normal usage web browsing and spotify and word processing and all however if i was trying to play valorant on the side with or maybe just switching to photoshop i was able to reach 67 degrees which is still pretty good for a machine this slim and yeah i mean that's really good like really really good now another thing that i know a lot of you guys might be questioning about is that well a lot of xps 13 laptops did suffer from coil wind issues and i'm happy to say that our unit here does not suffer from that like your mileage may vary maybe your product comes with that but at least our review unit here does not have any coil wind so that's that Lastly there's the battery life and like i said we have the full hd panel variant with us you know the more practical one 
and uh, see dell claims that it can last up to 18 hours and while that's a very big claim it's not far away from our numbers i mean i was averaging about 10 hours of battery backup on heavy usage with this laptop show sure, with power saving modes and everything i could stretch it to 14 maybe 14 and a half hours and that's pretty good like once again from a 52 watt hour battery this thing is really good and once again i5 is a more power efficient chipset as compared to the i7 processor as well the other thing that really helps which is my favorite part here which i said in the intro as well the usb pd charging here now the bundle charger in itself is quite compact but i'll be very honest with you i barely ever used it i mean i have a amx charger at home and i use it constantly with the dell xps and i use it to charge my smartphones and pretty much everything out there at work or whenever i'm traveling i just use my phone's charger and that works very well and that's the whole point of usb pd you can just use any usb pd charger out there to charge this laptop up and it works very well both these ports support that so it's not like you have to worry okay which direction to plug it or i'm struggling to position my laptop everything works very well and this thing is super convenient and way more practical and that's basically the whole verdict of this laptop see of course you're paying a very premium price for the dell xps 13 does not come cheap but after using this laptop trust me once you start using it you start to realize that that price factor is definitely worth it it's a very functional very practical laptop now coming back to the main question as to which variant you should be going for well to be very honest considering the design of this thing going from an i5 to an i7 will be a pointless upgrade the i5 should suffice all your tasks without any issues it should also offer better battery backup and while we're on that the full hd panel is something that i would recommend i seriously fail to see a point of bundling 4k panels on a 13 inch or even a 15 inch laptop I, it, it just doesn't make any sense to me i mean sound of below if you feel that yes there is market for 4k panels on these small laptops but personally i genuinely fail to see the logic behind it maybe touch to some extent but not 4k like seriously i don't get the point behind that so yeah just get the full hd panel and that should also offer you better battery backup the only upgrades as compared to the model that we have here is well if you're getting one just get 16 gb of ram like trust me this is something that will last a long uh, period of time it is durable it is premium and if you want to use this laptop for that long period of time it's best to have 16 gb of ram well that was it if you like this video make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content till then i guess it's time to bid farewell to the dell xps 13 But like I said, we have a lot more uh, laptop reviews coming pretty soon. So make sure that you have your notifications turned on for all our videos. Till then, this is one from Edin Tech, and I'll see you in the next one.